Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form 2, lesson number 8. The topic it is internal land forming processes. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mudun. Welcome. Uh, the first thing you are going to look at it is the lesson goals. We are going to look at the types of the phones and the features resulting from the phone. Um, we start by looking at these types of the phone. You can be able to see we have the first one there, which is the asymmetrical fold. We also have the simple fold. We also have the over fold. We also have the lecubed fold. We also have the nap and also the thrust plane are formed. All those are formed. So you can be able to see the way they are. What do we use or what do we consider when giving these forms different names? We just look at the anticline and synclinal. For example, you can be able to see the anticlines and the synclinal where they are in the different um, let us start. Let us start by looking at the characteristics and the reason as to why we give them the names and the way that we give them. We start with the first one, which is the simple symmetrical force. They are forced when the compression, or they are formed when the compression forces of equal magnitude and of moderate strength act on the crystals. So here for the symmetrical fault, we must have equal magnitude of force. The rocks bend evenly and the ant crane is symmetrical about it axis. That means that the fault here, the limbs are divided into two equal parts. That's what it is for the symmetrical. Then we go to the asymmetrical. Asymmetrical forms, it is also known as the monoclinal forms. The limbs are not symmetrical about the axis. So that is the difference between asymmetrical forms and symmetrical forms. What causes the limbs not being symmetrical? It is because the forces that are forming these forms are not equal. Well, or they don't have the same magnitude. The force that is coming from one side and the other one from the other side. These two forces, they don't have the same magnitude, resulting to one being weaker than the other. And ends the result to the formation of the asymmetrical force. One limb is cheaper than the other. So that is also another condition. For example, you can be able to see the diagram that we have there. You can see that one limb, it is steeper than the other side. This is because the forces are not the same. They are uneven. The next third one, it is the overforce. Uh, it is a symmetrical anticline which has been completely pushed over or overturned by the compression of forces. So here now the forces here, they are of high magnitude. It has been pushed over completely. Then we also have the isocrinal forms. They are a series of cross parallel over forms with all limbs dipping at approximately the same angle and in the same direction. Um, then we have the lecum bent fold. As you can be able to see this one, um, it acts as it is almost horizontal. You can be able to see how it is. Near horizontal positions with their actu actual surfaces. One or one of their fold, it is overturned. Almost on top of the other. That is the recubent fault. Then we have the nape or the overthrust fault. 
These are caused by the intense pushing that leads to the fr fracturing along the axis. So there is the fracturing. The surface of the fracture is the axis of the fault. The upper limb is completely poached over the lower limb along the thrust plane, resulting into the horizontal displacement along the brain. You can be able to see how it happens, where the fracture is. It is where the axis is. And one has been completely pushed on top of the other. That is the neck fraud or the overthrust fault. We also have the anticrinorium and the synchronorium complex faults. These are the anticrines and the synchrines on which minor up fronts and down fronts have been formed. And the up fronts, these minor ones, we refer to them as the anticrinorium. Why the downfalls we refer to them as the synchronotic complex. That is the reason as to why we give them complex because they are not one, not two, they are a number of them, as you can be able to see from the diagram. The assignment activity for today state four types of the folding. The folds that can be formed. State four types. Then, if I tell you get to get more information, just visit the KLB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book 2, that edition. You can also contact us for more information through the SMS, your SMS to the number. You can also get us through the YouTube. You can also get us through the Facebook. You can also get us through the Twitter. Otherwise, Thank you. Stay tuned to the editing.